Hello, the purpose of this video is to help you log into Asana and walk you through the Asana platform. First thing first, open your browser and go to asana.com. Click on login at the top right corner. If you already have access to Asana, use your organization email and password to log in. Now the Asana platform will appear in front of you. You should see a similar screen at your end. This is the home screen. So let's start from the top right corner. Search box, the orange plus button, and your profile icon. Using the search box, you can look for the existing projects, task, assignee involved with multiple tasks, and many more. You also get advanced search which gives you more flexibility in your searching. Next, the orange plus icon, also known as quick add button. When you click on it, you get a drop down list, which are task, project, message, team, and invite. The task option is used for creating new tasks for your existing projects and assign those tasks to an assignee based on their role and responsibilities. The project feature is used for creating, migrating, and implementing new projects. We will have a separate video for handling project feature. Next, the message option, which is used to collaborate with your team members who are in Asana. The team feature is used for creating a team in the organization who will only have access to certain projects you and your team wants to collaborate in. Lastly, the invite option. Using invite, you can send a request to a team member to join your Asana project you want them to be a part of. Now let's move into profile icon. When you click on it, a drop down menu appears where you can check which organizational domain you are logged in. The do not disturb feature is used for quick access, but Asana has a separate setting where you can do a lot more. For now, we will skip at sits feature because that's for admin use. Next comes about my organization. When you click on it, a new window will appear and you will find information like overview, billing and resources. The more option gives you quick access for creating new team in the organization and you can remove yourself from the organization as well. I highly recommend not to remove yourself. Next comes my profile settings. Let's click on it. In my profile settings, you can upload photo, provide details about your role and department. About me is pretty straightforward. In my case, I have mentioned about my work schedule and a short instruction before anyone assigned me a task. Now let's check the notifications. The notifications tab gives you more in depth on do not disturb which i have mentioned before over here you can schedule your days off with time moreover if you scroll down you will see all other notifications options focusing email browser and projects however i prefer to keep it as default from the email forwarding tab you can choose which my task list that your email sent to Asana creates task in. From the account tab, you can create a new workspace, change password, activate two-factor authentication, security, and deactivation of your account for all other organization and workspace in Asana. Deactivating an account is permanent and cannot be undone. The display tab allows you to change the background in your Asana accounts interface and add numbered rows for your task list. The apps tab allows you to manage the integrations you have authorized to access your account. The hacks tab allows you to try out experimental features that may, may or may not stick around. 
Now let's go back to the home screen. The sidebar is located on the left side of the screen. If it does not pop up, click on the three straight line next to home. The sidebar provides multiple features like home, task, inbox, reporting, portfolio, goals, favorites, safe search, and many more. If you're lost in Asana, you can click on home and it will bring you back to the first screen when you logged in. My task will list all the tasks that you are involved in. Inbox gives you the ability to see all the notifications, comments, and activities took place on the projects or tasks that you are participating. Reporting is an open canvas where you can review or create reports on overall projects and team's performance. Currently, we are not using the portfolios and goals feature. Next comes the favorites. Favorites list all the projects that you have selected as favorite. You can drag and drop them to rearrange your favorite items. The saved searches keeps all the records of the search which you performed into the search box. Teams gives you the list of teams you are involved in along with the team members and the projects. Browse Other Teams gives you the ability to check all the teams created in Asana from the organization. From the home screen, you can also see your task due, favorites, and recent projects that you created or worked on, just by clicking the arrow. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.